Hello, I'm Peter Wachter, and I'm here to talk about the onboard audio capture quality of the Canon EOS Rebel SL2 body, and we'll be comparing that to a Rode SmartLav Plus microphone with accessories. I want to thank all of you fine presenters on YouTube out there that have helped me decide on this package. I haven't had a DSLR since an EOS 20D. I didn't give up on photography. I was just shooting smaller, lighter cameras like the G10 and the G5X from Canon. For starters, let's listen to the stereo separation because there are two microphones on board this body. I'm going to move to camera left and I'm going to move off camera and I'm standing about five feet away from the body off to one side and I'm going to continue to talk and move across the center line of the camera body and pick up over on the right side of the ca camera body about uh, five feet away uh, probably bouncing off the diffuser on my softbox but uh, that's okay you may be wondering why I have such a plain background here uh, it's not necessarily that I'm lazy, I just don't want any distractions because this is an audio presentation. Secondly, I want to show folks out there that are in my situation, new to video, uh, what can be done on, on the cheap in order to improve the audio quality, even if you're not using an off-camera microphone. This is a shipping blanket that costs six dollars, it's relatively thick, it's 40 by 72 inches, and I simply have it tacked to the wall behind me. My office is all hard surfaces, except for the drop ceiling. So let's have a look at the Smart Laugh Plus microphone and some of the accessories that I elected to acquire, and go from there. I elected to go with the entire suite of Rode products that are tied into the Smart Laugh Plus microphone, which are designed ostensibly for use with a smartphone, whether it's an iPhone or an Android product. This is my kit. I happen to like, uh, it's called Keeper Flexible Seal Wear by Lustra Wear. It's uh, something I picked up in Japan, but I was very happy to say I found some in the United States. The cover seems to be made out of 50% silicone, so it's got a very supple kind of a nature to it. These are available from the container store if you'd like to check them out. There's various sizes for other needs. I'm even thinking of putting a lens in one of the taller ones. And here's the kit itself. Here's the microphone, Smart Laugh Plus. The SC1 extension cable, 20 feet or 6 meters long and the SC3 adapter. We'll talk about that in more detail in a moment. The last product is the SC6. This is not a product that I'm going to focus on too much here from a uh, audio point of view, but from a practical point of view we will discuss it and we will discuss it first. The Rode SC6 has two microphone inputs that feed into a mono track, making it a great accessory for recording interviews. It also has a headphone jack, which allows you to monitor the audio input. It has a TRRS jack that's designed to go into a smartphone, could be an iPhone or an Android device, or a digital recorder. This, has, this iPhone SE has a relatively slim case, but even though it's still too much to allow the SC6 to make contact. So that necessitates the addition of another accessory. Uh, this is from another brand whose name I don't know at the moment, but this is a TRRS to TRRS connector that allows you then to plug this into the smartphone and the barrel here is a small enough diameter so that it doesn't interfere with the case and then you end up with this kind of an arrangement. I like to use 90 degree fittings and things like this, especially if you're going to put this in a pocket because there's less stress and wear and tear on this as it takes the angle. Now for those of you who have uh, lightning phones, 
There's a brand new product out from Rode. I don't have one, but the way it's configured looks essentially like this. You'll have the lightning fitting on a, on a short piece of cable coming out and it, uh, then we'll plug into the lightning uh, connector on the phone and then you'll have the two mics and the headphone jack on the bottom. Have a look online for that product. I think it's called an SC6L for lightning. Now there have been plenty of other videos that have discussed the TRRS to TRS adapter to connect the Smart Lab to a DSLR camera. I'm going to keep this simple. This is the four conductor pin, 3.5 millimeter, on the Smart Lab mic. And that's going to connect into a four pin end on the SC1 20 foot long extension cable. And the other end of that now, which is four conductors still, will connect to the SC3, which takes us now down to the three conductors that we would want to plug into the DSLR. You can now we are recording audio using the Rode Smart Laugh Plus microphone plugged directly into the Canon SL2 body. The settings on the camera are set to automatic. We'll listen to manual shortly. I still have most of the 20 foot long SC1 cable spooled up. Um, notice, by the way, I use the wire ties that come with coffee. They're quite useful. Uh, I have this coiled up uh, because I'm having a Tesla moment, if you'll allow me. And that is that a lot of times coils will pick up more radio frequency interference or, or disturbances from power supplies, LED lights, microwaves, and alien spacecraft. So now I've got the full 20 feet of the extension cable draped around the light stands in the studio, a long enough antenna to pick up short wave transmissions from across the English Channel. Oh, I'm sorry, no such luck. Canon. Okay, so now I'm still recording with the Smart Laugh Plus microphone plugged into the SL2, but now I'm using the manual audio settings on the camera body. And if you look at the graphics on the display, as photographers, we would interpret it as essentially two-thirds of a stop down on the audio input. I believe that this is a little bit better with my voice level. Now we are recording using the Smart Laugh Plus microphone the way it was originally designed to be used, and that is with a smartphone. This is an iPhone SE. I'm using the Voice Memos application that's part of iOS. And as you'll notice, the waveforms on here are rather light. That's because one cannot control the audio input with this application. Therefore, it might not be the most useful app for recording. Regardless of the app that you do use, however, let me share with you a bit of advice that I've picked up online, and that is, at the beginning of the recording, clap three times, and that will impart three spikes to the audio track on both the camera audio and on the smartphone audio, which makes it much easier and much more precise to sync the audio in post. Now I'm capturing the audio using the Smart Laugh Plus and the iPhone using a different app. This is iRig Recorder. You can see that the waveforms are much more pronounced because one can control the audio input. I'm only using this because it's an application that I'm familiar with and comfortable using, and it's very easy to use. For those of you who are new to this subject, I hope uh, you might have picked up something or two of interest to help you make a decision down the road. I certainly have learned a lot by making this video. In the future, I intend to make some videos doing some interesting lighting hacks and other studio things. Uh, so please stay tuned. Thank you very much for watching. Have a good day.